Welcome back. Uh, today I stumbled across the most interesting thing in the Leech S source code. Uh, we're going to look at this together and maybe even make some improvements to it. So I found um, a module that identifies bad words in a string and another uh, I found a unit test for it. And this this is just truly a beautiful unit test. Um, you know, I mean, yeah, this is how you verify that um, your thing that's supposed to find um, words in a string actually finds them. But one thing, one thing caught my attention in particular, find plurals. Um, you know, I'm just, this got my curiosity because to my knowledge, there isn't, um, a pluralization feature for swear words in the dictionary. So I'm curious just how this is done. Um, so what this is testing is um, the analyzer. So this defines the words. Um, oh, if the word ends with S, uh, how does this go? If the word ends with S, this is the pattern, else the pattern is the word plus S question mark. I think this could be improved. So what we do is we go back to our unit test, as shameful as this is, and um, see if we can find a word that's supposed to be um, in the words list but isn't. So we got find variants, we got find plurals, but we're kind of missing a word here, right? There we go. And then over here, we add it with an ES suffix, which is a pretty standard English suffix for words that end in an S. Um, there are other suffixes for words that end in other letters. Um, I mean, I guess technically the Dictionary does contain that word as well, so um, well, that's it's not intended for use as a noun, though. <laughs> well, we'll see how it does. Um, so now, how in the world do I run this test? Um. I forget how to run just a single thing. Um, so if we go back to Leela and say SBD, SBT test detector, maybe this will only run the unit test. Um, hopefully it does notice uh, in fact, I probably should say test hyphen only, as opposed to test. I think there is a difference, but we're going to see if it can compile the code that I just changed, and then succeed at testing, and have that test fail to discover all the pluralized bad words. Um, again, I think there's an, a very slight issue here having to do with how plural forms of words ending in S are handled. Um, and clearly this is like the key critical issue for the entire project. Um, so while that compiles, I'm going to go over to GitHub and we're going to look at the code this way. Uh, this is the shut up module, which actually doesn't mute users, it just reports them. Basic Russian vocabulary. I'll check that out. Um, yeah, for you guys who know Russian, I'm sure these words mean something to you. I don't happen to know that. 
actually, oh my goodness, um, uh, yeah, they should actually localize these strings, put them into that crowd, crowd in translation thing. I'm going to make that recommendation to the dev team that they should localize this dictionary. And, you know, yeah, okay. They can have fun localizing that and detecting words in various languages and such. Because, um, I mean, I'm sure people in other languages use bad language, and um, our moderators might not catch that. On the other hand, if we don't have moderators equipped to handle the error reports, um, how do you handle that situation? Uh, okay, so my point was I think this expression could be improved. This says if the word ends with an S, um, then the words regexes is not going to contain a plural form, whereas I think it should contain the atom ES in parentheses in a question mark. Um, okay. This is testing way more than I intended to. Can it maybe test only just the bad word detector? That would be ideal. Oh, did I close that other tab? No, I did not. It's just for some reason I can't tab over to it. Yeah, control tab no longer skips from tab to tab, which is really weird. Um, it makes it kind of useless to have the Chrome terminal in a tab. Maybe they'll fix that in the next update. Probably not, but maybe. Um, but yeah, I think, I think we have this for making a string. Um, big regex, fine. How is this consumed, I wonder? Uh, environment. Oh, right, right. We improve the formatting of the code. Uh, we got an API. Wow. I guess this is a message filtering API or something. Holy moly. Okay. Um, okay, this is the declaration of the package, package object shut up uh, with, with play. Okay. Yeah, I guess there's not much to do other than identify some words here that end in an S and figure out how to pluralize those. Um, how many words actually ended in S in this list? Not very many. So clearly I'm fixing like the least important thing to be fixed. Um, actually what the pattern should be is not just ES atomically in a question mark, but E question mark, S question mark, um, for words that end in S or X. Just, you know, in case somebody decides to pluralize anus or, you know, some of these other words. Um, I'm going to look up the English pluralization rules. English ES plural. English pluralization. Okay. Oh, right, right. Regular plurals. All right, so when a singular noun ends in a syllabant sound, the S is the one of those things. The plural is formed by adding uh, uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce some of this. The spelling adds dash es or dash s if the word already ends in dash e. Um, when it ends in a voiceless consonant. It just adds s. For other words, 
the plural adds z, uh, represented orthographically as s. Phonologically, these rules are sufficient to describe most English plurals. Um, I guess words that end in o can have an es. Wait, are there some words that end in o that you pluralize by adding just an s at the end? Yeah, I guess there are. Oh, right. However, many words of foreign origin, including almost all Italian loanwords, add only dash s. However, when the nouns ending in o are preceded by a consonant, in many cases you add es instead of s. Um, yeah, this applies for like Italian and Greek words and others. Um, I don't think we're going to be bothered by this sort of pluralization because there aren't many bad words that end in O that need an ES pluralization that people would actually pluralize correctly. There's also <laughs> cherry becomes cherries, lady becomes ladies, sky becomes skies, soliloquy becomes soliloquies. So yeah, Y becomes IES. Um, words ending in a Y preceded by a vowel form plurals by just simply adding S. Okay. However, the plural form of money is usually monies, although monies is also found. Near regular plurals. Um, yeah, yeah, so we got fancy stuff. We could get into all of those details. Uh, tests unsuccessful. Compilation failure. Oh, really? Wait. How in the world did compilation fail? That makes no sense. What do you mean compilation failed? How could that have possibly failed? I'm so confused. I'm just scrolling up there to try to scan through the log to see, like, did we fail one of the tests? But no. Compilation itself should have succeeded, despite the tests failing. I am so confused. How did I break it? That's outstanding that I did succeed in breaking it somehow. Um, actually, clear git status will show us what I've got locally, which might be too much, honestly. Um, git checkout, yeah, we'll back out my changes that I made in environment.scala. Uh, Get status here, get diff. Oh, right. Um, yeah, I've got to change this back. Get stash, cd, cd, lila, clear. All right. So. We're going to say just test only the detector. And please don't run into compilation problems this time. Um, so yeah, I think for purposes of this list, there aren't very many words ending in O. And words that are ending in O um, nobody's going to add an E before the S. Um, I mean, all these are like borrowed words, so that's not the situation there. Um, but I think, at least in terms of words that end in an X, or, um, how many words end in an X? I found one. Is there more than one? 
No. There's just the one. Um. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, arguably, you could just make the E optional, because some people are going to typo plurals anyway. I'm just trying to think, is there actually a word in this list where adding ES makes it something appropriate? Probably not. I would wager not. Well, I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, nobody's going to add ES to anything other than something already ending in an S. Um, but yeah, the word, the pluralization rule is that you add ES when you have a word ending in O preceded by a consonant, or when you have a word um, ending in S or X or a Z sound, I guess. Um, <laughs> A sibilant sound. It's the manner of articulation for fricative and affricative affricate consonants made by directing a stream of air with the tongue toward the sharpened our sharp edge of the teeth, which are held close together. So, if you want sibilant types of sounds, um, yeah, okay, there's all sorts of, jeez, that's so much. I just want some examples. We got sip, zip, shin, vision. It's all these words that are made toward the front of the mouth. Um, so yeah, this is way more information than anybody needs. Wait, what's this DSing? Um, to eliminate the excessive prominence of sibilant consonants in recordings of the human voice. Oh. Yeah, because, um, some... People tend to overpronounce their S's, and recording devices uh, don't do much to help with that. Plosive competence, or consonants, strident vowels, yeah. The voiced apricolative, whatever, voiced alveolar fricative. Redirected from voiced apicovialar. Wait, apicovialar. Jeez. Uh, this has to do with consonantal sounds? Uh, such as what? Can we have an example, please? Because I'm not going to read this. This is crazy. Yeah, I give up. This is too much. This is way too much documentation. All I wanted to know, well, okay, so you got kiss, which adds ES, but sometimes you also add the last letter of the word, followed by adding ES. Wait, no. No, I'm thinking of fizz, but fizzes, you just add ES again. Uh, is there a word where you duplicate the last letter before adding ES? I could have sworn there is, but... Again, nobody's going to spell any of this correctly, so who cares? Other than this is just amusing. It's very highly amusing. Alright, so... Apparently, my attempts to compile and do my test are resulting in testing everything. Uh... Oh wait, no, this has no tests to run for all these various tests. So hopefully it'll get to um, 
uh, the test that we were intending to run momentarily. Uh, in the interim, yeah. So there's our list. Oh, this doesn't even differentiate between nouns and adjectives. How sad. You know, the, there could always be somebody out there who says, like, they're going to have a word ending in sex there, and then add an ES. Or even, yeah, if they add an ES, that defeats the profanity filter. Oh, uh, man. Oh, now here's something I hadn't thought about. There might be a word. Yeah, so wait. A word ending in CH, you would add ES. Maybe we just... There isn't a single word in this list that if you add ES, it makes it any better. Um, plus, people mistype the typo on the E key all the time because it's like right next to the D, the S, and the R. So, I don't think anybody's going to complain if there's extra um, vulgar language reports sent to moderators because somebody makes a typo and something that they intended to be offensive. That's amazing, though. You could just add ES to defeat, defeat the filter. And how do I know that? Because I went over here, and I see that if the word ends with an S, um, we check, we add the word to the list, otherwise add S question mark. And really what that should be doing is, in all cases, just add word plus E question mark, S question mark. Um or S or ES. I mean, if you really want to be precise and have something that performs fast. Because um, it's possible just adding an E could be innocent enough. Oh, but yeah, you could just like add any random letter to the beginning or end of an offensive word and it won't be caught. That suggests that long term that there should be better aspirations for this filter. Um, so, yeah. Uh, plus, you could just... Well, I'm not sure. This I have to think about. Is it possible? What would it take to translate this list into lead speak and stuff? Um... Because, like, there's nothing here about zeros and ones and, you know, putting numbers in instead of letters. Um, so that would be another technique to defeat this, unless there's a translation module somewhere in here. Which, maybe there is. Maybe I'm not giving them enough credit. I would be shocked, but... Maybe there's something somehow in here that... Actually, let's do some research on the topic. Uh, vulgar language filter. Um, open source. Oh, profanity filter. It's in .NET. Oh, yeah. Um... A word filter is the concept. Okay, references. Um, <laughs> a text obfuscator. Excellent. Oh my goodness, I had not even thought about that. That's brilliant if you want to like troll a system. I mean, people will still report you, but it defeats the automated um, reporting system. So, huh. in January 2010, Google was reported to have stopped providing automated search. 
automatic suggestions for any search beginning in, with the term Islam is, while continue to do so for other major religions. This is a bug, and we're working to fix it as quickly as we can. Um, okay. How do they do this? Ungoogleable. Um, it defined the term as something that cannot be found with any search engine. Google objected to its definition, wanting it to only refer to um, Google results, and the council removed it in order to avoid a legal confrontation, and accused Google of trying to control the Swedish language. Wait, how do you lose that lawsuit? How? Wait, Google objected. What does objected mean in this context? We are going down the rabbit hole here, guys. Yeah, was there a lawsuit or something? Um, uh, so, I mean, Google can control the use of their, their brand. It was not forced by Google and did not indicate they won't be used in the language. Um, I am so confused. Long email exchanges. Google's lawyers demanded too much work, so the organization removed the word from the list altogether. Okay, well that's amazing. Um, Okay. Uh, so, uh, yeah, no, no, no. I mean, okay, so this, is, I guess, wasn't what I was looking for. I wanted, like, just the list, or I wanted a tool that could be used for um, censored word detection. But, I don't think we're finding it. I mean, you have to generate the complete list. There's no technique um, for this fuzzy problem. Oh. Um, okay, here we go. See, here's a substitution cipher. You could do something like that. There's an API for a bad word indicator. Oh, but Google's removed the service. That's too bad. Um, hmm. So, scroll down to see the list. Uh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, no, there's no convenient module anywhere for uh, censored word filtering. Leech us is the state of the art here. Oh my goodness. That's frightening. It's harrowing that, like, all that stands between... Well, I guess, um, there's... Uh, there's the notion that people will report bad users. But supposing they don't, the automated filter is not going to do very much. I mean, it'll catch like half of the bad people, but... Man, that's special. So... Yeah, I don't know what else to say on this topic other than this is... I mean, it's cool that we got this list. It reports to moderators when people use bad words. Doesn't catch all the instances by any means. Um, since we did start using Crowdin, I should suggest to the dev team, you know, maybe they could um, 
they could do some translation contexts for these profane words and see how far they get. Um, that's amazing. Because I'm sure people like swear in French and Spanish and German and Russian. I mean, there's a, a start of a Russian list. But what do you do to solve this problem, especially when moderators don't know the language? You could have all the automated error reports in the world, but until you make a bot, um, there's got to be, uh, there's got to be a bot that machine learning profanity. I mean, yes, there's an example of Watson using profanity, but what, yeah, how do you detect profanity? Natural language approach to analyzing this. It's written by Stephanie Kim, who has a professional experience with data mining and processing, including NLP, a small amount of machine learning and script automation, from Data Science Central. All right. Retrieve tweets by keyword, collect data, pre-processing, check for profanity. Okay, I want to get to step four. Let's presume that we're able to parse the data and that the interesting part is, I mean, okay, yeah, the pre-processing itself might be useful, but I sense um, that the actual problem would be um, Hmm. <laughs> yeah. The actual problem would be to find um, a classifier for swear words, which is non-trivial. You need like sentiment analysis. Yeah. So. I'm thinking that there isn't a publicly available tool for this, or we'd have used it. Um, geez, this is unbelievable to me that, like, natural language processing has been around for a while. Um, you'd think that somebody would make a open source tool for it. But no, I guess moderation services are more profitable than open source services. Profanity. A node module. There's all kinds of things about... Okay, here's a detection library. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm talking about. This. I am so confused. Um, which of these has the most recent development? Is there any way to filter this list of filters? Two months ago? A year ago? So the question is, like, how active was the development? And I don't know. Um... Oops. Yeah, if I had to pick some of these out of this list, this is a large list, how can I tell which of these uh, work well or are the most popular or something? Um, detects inappropriate language in your CSS. That's special. Um, a dirty word filter module that supports Chinese. Let's see. Fill in censored words with their corresponding uncensored words. That's brilliant. <laughs> this is the module that everybody needs. 
does yeah why would you even do this um oh oh okay to do sentiment analysis this is amazing incredible okay so um so that's a thing it's mit licensed it was published seven months ago unbelievable um so nothing was updated days ago weekly no months Okay, so these are the ones that were updated some number of months ago. Swear jar, Rolex, um, what else? String matcher, uncensor, exhaustive profanity filter, simple profanity filter. Uh, yeah, no. Apparently, most of these are pretty old. There's another page of these. Incredible. So this is a task that's been done in like a million times. And I'm guessing none of it works well at all. Um, mm -hmm. Profanity filter AI contest. This seems like exactly the sort of thing that would fit inside the context of the OpenAI gym. You have one contest that's see who can generate the most, the bot that swears the worst at bypasses the filters. And the other half of that would be see who can generate the bot that detects all the swear words the most accurately without censoring good content. Oh my goodness. Um, mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Incredible. Okay. Yeah, I guess um, the only way to have a quality service is to get a paid service. Wow, okay. Um, so, yeah. I am so confused. Is this test done yet? I mean, look how many classes and things it got through. What command did I even issue at the beginning of this test? I've been stalling for time, hoping that this test would complete. And apparently I just don't know how to test only just the shut up module. And we get to see like what are all the tests that can execute, which is kind of cool. Um, I keep scrolling up and up and, okay. Failed tests. Detect test. Um, which is really the only one that I should need to test. But, apparently we're testing other things too. So my point, um, was that I wrote the unit test here to verify that um, the filter does not work in this context and that I um, I could test this offline no sense making you all wait um, but yeah what you're supposed to do is generate the unit test first and then from there um, then make your code improvement and retest So I think what this really should be is ES or S. 
Um, and this should just be unconditional. Well, whatever. Um, Clearly, it's critically important we get this right. But yeah, I think this would apply um, not only for words ending with S, but words ending with S or X. Um, how do I say this in Scala? Word ends with X. There aren't any words in the list that end with Z, otherwise I'd have to add those two. Um, grep Z dictionary. Oh! Uh, okay. Apparently there are. Okay, how do I do like a regular expression match here? Word ends with Z. Um, yeah, that's the pattern. That optional E plus S. Optionally. So, just to give an idea, let's go to regex 101. Test our theory. So say we have a regular expression that says fizz, and then we add this es there. And so this would match fizz. This would not match fizzy. Um, uh, regex options should be matching the entire word. Oh, I'm sorry. There's a way to do this. Um, you'd want to say word boundary on the one end, word boundary on the other end. So fizz, fizzy, fizzed. Oh, ed could be inappropriate as well in some cases. Now that I think more about it. But, um, so that's caught. So there we go. Um... Yeah, and if I want to say S or D, um, I would do it like that. Uh, but this is not going to catch things like that, where we put a 1 instead of an I. That's not caught. I think that's okay. For like this most extremely primitive filter, this is an improvement that catches plurals better than we used to. Um, uh, something like that. So, um, <laughs> so now, um, now we want to go back to our unit test. And so, what was it that I changed? Oh, yeah, ED is actually pretty vulgar in many contexts. Um, so, Word ends with that. Okay, and I'm going to have to go back and um, yeah, ED in particular should have been caught in many cases. Uh, 
it's not even a noun thing. It's sometimes, um, yeah. <laughs> Fifty shades. Oh, how beautiful. How beautiful. Um, now, let me go. There was something that could have been cleaned up a little bit here. Um... That's just one line simpler. Um, not that we need to fixate on this too much, um, but let's just get a sample of like some of that what's out there. Um, so. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh wait. Uh, so I should, in my analyzer, not just catch that, but also... Uh, the letter D and the letter S are kind of interchangeable there. Um, so the one thing I have to check now is um, Scala regex match. How in the world do you do this? Scala regular expressions. How do I just check that something ends with a letter? Do I have to say new regex? Do I not get any of the special? Like Ruby has awesome syntax for regular expressions. Do I actually have to say new regex? If so, I might be sad. You can use the regex constructor or R method. Wait, is R a real method? We create a string and call the R method on it. Then this converts it into a rich string and then invokes that method to get an instance of regex. Okay. Um, oh, string dot R. Okay. So, yeah, if I want a pattern... Um, if dot r but how do I apply this pattern? Uh, I forgot to check that. Oh, match. Um, wait. Word dot first letter. Scala last letter match. Uh, there's got to be a simple way to check. Does my word end with a letter? Yeah, it's probably not trivial. Um, oh, see, I have to say, like, string match. So, word, um, how's this done again? Again, I have to keep tabbing in and out of that view. X match, okay, so the match is there, and then we have to have case. Case, um, and then case default. Wait, 
Wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is right. Word plus DS optional. Um, this is going to have to be the word ends in a letter. However, we check that. Um, how do you check that? Word ends with. Um, yeah, there's somebody's got to have done this before. Never mind. Um, so, yeah, apparently, um, apparently, there's no simple way to check does a word end with a pattern. Oops. Oh, case class. Header matching has another very different <laughs> from reg access meaning. No kidding. Um, okay, so I'm going to assume that last letter is actually a defined thing. Um, can I declare a capture group and then not use it? Case pattern will not match here. I'm so confused by what this means. I assume this answer was updated. Okay, so word dot last letter match if it's one of I don't know. K S X Z uh, word plus this um, this being E D S that atom optional I think this is the right answer. Um, this probably doesn't even compile, but you know what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to say if the word ends in one of these damn letters, check if we can have E followed by the rest of the suffix. Otherwise, just use the rest of the suffix. Um, probably add other hard letters here. Most consonants could probably go there. Or maybe just universally, we say, um, just a, allow this accidental E in there. Yes, yeah, screw all this difficult stuff. We're going to go for the simple solution. Um, that's probably fine. Having an accidental E in there in the middle of a word that doesn't even remotely have an E. Um, it's probably no big deal. Like, 
I don't know. Uh, what would be an example of something where you can't even add an E? Where it just makes, like, no sense. I'm struggling on this one. Um, you'd have to have a word that, like, already ended in an E. There aren't very many of those, are there? Yeah. I think my filter improvement's probably good enough. Um, so because of my improvement, we don't need to have that there anymore. Um, actually, this simplifies some of these things in the list anyway. So apparently the way to handle some of this is just um, ed pipe blank. So instead of what I had, what they would have would be um, that sort of thing. Uh, which I think is perhaps more elegantly written this way. Wait, but I think this, oh wait, no, this does have an optional parameter. Yeah, the pipe says that you don't have to match this group. Um, Wait, they're automatically leetified. I don't know how the heck that's done, but I'll take uh, the author's word for it. Um, yeah, no, I think ED is probably um, it's a good catch. Uh, is there anything else? Or have we... Yeah, I think we're probably fine. Jeez, this is like the most ridiculous... Um... Anyway. I, I think this is... I mean, okay, one could argue that jerk might not have a form jerk ed. Um, one could argue that it's not even that offensive of a word in the first place, but, um, mm -hmm. yeah, so we're going to add that. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, only because there's some of these that have both a noun and a verb form. Um, that the verb form is actually acceptable. Um, so, yeah, in cases where the verb form is actually in the vernacular. Um, <laughs> yeah. I mean, considering that like poop is in here, can't be too alarmed. Oh, I guess if the word, if the expression ends with a parenthesis, 
in that case, we don't need to do any special stuff. Um, okay. That's one case I hadn't thought about. Uh, get diff analyzer. So this really should be um, only because I'm not going to remember how to type that out. So this needs to be the English dictionary, but if the word ends with a parenthesis, don't do anything fancy. Otherwise, word plus um, uh, this suffix. Oops. Whatever. It's a very carefully crafted suffix. All right, this is probably an improvement. I'll have to test it offline because apparently my testing is like slower than molasses. Not to be confused with the word asses because it just has the word in there, but don't confuse it. Um, so yeah, I think this is good. Oh jeez, that was so confusing. Oh wait, wait, wait. This E is optional. That's the nuance. That's what was missed earlier inside the dictionary filter. Because it's common for people to leave out letters. Um, so yeah. Uh, get diff will show our changes. Um, so yeah. Um, that's exciting stuff, isn't it? Yeah, I've replaced retard, uh, retarded with retard. Um, and screwed with screwed. And, you know, so D or ED uh, are both caught. So here, adding D or ED are both caught, as is kept adding ES. Um, but if the word ends with a parenthesis, like, uh, I don't know. Um, in those cases, uh, the suffix is already in the dictionary, so they don't need to be re-suffixed. So like scumbagged would not be in there, because it's not a word. And nobody's going to type that. Or rectumed, or whatever. Things that... Uh, things that obviously... Well, fine. Fine, fine, fine. Um, we'll say word plus optional s. Just in case somebody happens to be completely out of their mind and adds an s at the end. Because, um, yeah, scumbags would be something you'd still want to catch. Clear get status, um, get status, this directory shows us that we changed these two files, get diff analyzer shows, um, this. Oh man, that was so confusing. So yeah, changing this from, if the word ends with an S, don't add a plural, otherwise word plus S question mark. Two, if the word ends with a parenthesis, or the pattern ends with a parenthesis, just add an S. Otherwise, add the word plus optional E plus D or S. D being for a verbal form, S being for a nominative form. Um, and what this means is that in the dictionary, there aren't going to be very many words that end with an S. Um, and those which do, um, I mean, when they add ES or ED, um, they could ha optionally leave out the E and still be caught by the filter. 
or if they had typed too many S's. Like, yeah, whatever. It's pretty clear what the intent is if they accidentally add an additional S to the end of it. So, um, so the remaining question is, um, would it make any sense to check for, like you have one of these, um, like douchebag, and if you, would anybody ever add a D to the end of one of these that ends with a parenthesis? Probably not. Maybe. Um, very unlikely. This one. This one, maybe. Um, but in general, <laughs> poop face. Poop faces. Poop face ES. <laughs> oh, dear. Um, so yeah, maybe, I don't know. Is it really offensive if they add a D at the end of one of these? Probably. Probably. So I think what I need to do is say, you know, um, both of these are offensive. And then just, yeah, run this test offline. I mean, surely this is going to catch more than we were previously catching, but hopefully it won't have too many f false positives and stuff, you know. <sighs> I like to think it's okay. Like, here we go. Oh, what about ones that add with end with a non ascii character um yeah i guess if it ends with an e um that's funny i hadn't even thought about that uh this probably should not end in an optional e cuz now well, no, the E standing alone. I mean, you got a point here that the guy is pretty clearly trying to type something and he just missed a letter. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about some of that. Uh, if a word ends... I mean, how many times do we end in an E? Or if we ended a question mark, that was that was the point. Um, um, <laughs> word ends with or word ends with that. So, yeah, it's a pity that I have to do it this way, but there aren't any other patterns here, right? We don't, there's not a literal bracket anywhere in this file, so that's fortunate. Um, yeah, I think we're good. I think we got them all. Um, ball? One could argue ball might not be that offensive. Um. <laughs> In light of this, though. Um. Yeah, I think the D or the S here would be optional. Um. Yeah, E or EDS or ED or ES or D or S. Um, I 
Anything else? Wait. So if a word ends with a parenthesis. Yeah, that's fine. Wait, does this mean I can always just add E and optional DS to follow and say forget all this, forget all of all this, probably. Yeah, let's just keep it simple. Optional E, optional D or S to follow. And there's not a word in this list. I mean, there might be a single word in this list. Amazingly, uh, the word that I was thinking that would be between this and the next one isn't there. But I guess that's because people use it not in a vulgar way. So, yeah, I think this is good. I don't think adding an E at the end of any one of these makes it appropriate. Um, so, yeah. We'll test this offline. I think we've got it. Um, so here's how you test, by the way. You say like SBT test hyphen only, and then you name the test that you're attempting to execute. And then the simple build tool environment should, in this case I'm naming detector as the thing to test. A simple build tool environment should handle the rest. So yeah, for those watching, I hope this was amusing because it, it's me just basically trying to reinvent English rules for a pretty primitive filter. Ideally, you'd have a much more intelligent machine learning way sort of doing this. Um, obviously, this is only reporting uses of profanity. doesn't mean that every use of profanity is something that... I don't know. Uh, that needs to be fixed. It just means that if somebody's regularly using profanity, um, that triggers a pretty high score. And if you get a really high score, the moderators ask you, what is it that you're doing? So yeah. I hope this has been entertaining. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.